Hello, hope you're well. Today, for the first time ever, as a British chap, I am making homemade American style chicken and waffles, and I am extremely excited. This came off of the back of the recent biscuits and gravy video, which um, looked a little bit odd, but blew my mind. And for me, the whole chicken and waffle thing, I'm like, how, why? As a British person, I'm just like, what is this? Fried chicken with sweet maple glazed waffles. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited today. I've been sent many recipes to try and I picked one out that also had a hot sauce. So I hope I do a decent job. You'll have to let me know and if you've got any suggestions. But here's a little bit that I found out. Chicken and waffles is an American dish combining chicken with waffles. Okay, that's, I, I'm with you on that bit. <laughs> I get that bit. <laughs> It is part of a variety of culinary traditions, including Pennsylvania Dutch cuisine and soul food. So it's very popular in the jazz era. I think jazz music is where people just like turned up and kind of freestyled, it's pretty cool. The reason why it's got like a little bit of a breakfast and dinner thing together is that the dish was designed to be served between dinner and breakfast in the early hours when musicians were likely finished with their sets after like jamming together. The heavenly union of crispy fried chicken and tender Belgian waffles originated at Wells Supper Club which was a 1930s jazz joint in Harlem, New York. Let's go. All right, so this is the first thing that might be controversial. Um, I've got chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, because I'm selfish and I bloomin' love them. But when I've seen it before, they're actually like sometimes like whole chicken wings on there. But I kind of like knowing that I've cooked chicken that I can fully eat. I don't really like eating the bones. It's just a personal thing. Give me a salt. Pepper on there and a good stir together. Nice. Now I know there are many variations, even in the simplest form of just chicken waffles and maple syrup on, but today I picked the one with the hot sauce on it. And it's a little bit like the feedback on the biscuits and gravy video. Like there were so many variations on the gravy. Like thank you, I learned so much from the comments. So thank you so much for the feedback. I'm gonna do the uh, dredge. So we need three eggs, and that is my coffee cup from earlier. <laughs> uh, so this is some hot sauce. I've been mucking around with hot sauces recently. That sounds a bit weird out of context. Going for like Frank's hot sauce, quite a well-known brand, but I've been going like, yeah, like deep dark web with it and stuff. Uh, and this is some buttermilk. Uh, we've made that before. Awesome. It's a good day. Another bowl here, cause these are gonna work together in tandem. Plain flour, a good shimmy of salt, and some garlic powder. I, I feel like this step needs a wooden spoon, just to caress it. We're gonna go old school, all right? Taking it back to the 1930s jazz era. Hello. Uh, so this is a wire rack. We've got the flour mixture, the buttermilk mixture, and our chicken has returned. So we are gonna take a strip of the chicken, okay? And it's gonna go into the flour. And then I'm gonna drop it into here and kind of have a wet hand. Make sure that's fully coated, drip off any excess. So like that. I'm covering it with the flour, which will just hopefully take all that moisture out. And hopefully, we should have a nice coated piece of chicken. And if you're not happy with it, you can go back in the buttermilk, back in the flour, and go until you've got it nice and fully coated. Well, that's what I'm gonna be doing for a long time. It's gonna take a little while, but it'll be worth it. So this is it, I've got to turn the camera off with my elbow. I tell you what, I am blooming happy with that. It's got a real sort of like bumpy texture on it. I've probably used about a third of the chicken. You could probably freeze this as well. We should free fry in this now, but I want to try and have this, which is, as you know, quite rare for me, warm at the end. So we're going to try and time it all together. But for the time being, that is nice and coated and I've got a very excited dog next to me. Have you just eaten flour? One thing to say uh, with this video today is actually quite appliance heavy. We've got uh, the fryer, we've got Tuck, obviously, uh, and we've got uh, the waffle maker. And I think there's a bit of history with this whole thing. Obviously we talked about like the jazz thing. I think there's some sort of like the Dutch relevance of, I think something about like getting really into it, like with the waffles in America was like, I think the Dutch might have brought them over. I don't know if that's completely true. I'm more focused on eating good food right now. Story of my life, even when the tax man gets in touch. I know this tax bill is important, but I'm more focused on eating good food right now. <laughs> Just try that excuse next time someone asks you something serious. Okay, so now for the hot sauce, which I say I think traditionally it's not always used. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, of course. If something's got a hot sauce optional, I'm going for it. 100 grams of butter, so some salt and pepper. We've got some more garlic granules, chili powder, cayenne, and of course paprika. And you know, I love paprika. Last but not least, a little bit of sweetness. Two good old squirts of honey. This is gonna make our hot sauce that we can just keep warm till we need it. I probably should have chopped that block of butter up a little bit, but I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so I'm just gonna push it around, 
And I've let it coat the honey and spices. Oh my gosh. Tweak this to your liking, or of course, like I say, just don't use it at all. I would quite happily just brush hot sauce on the chicken instead, because I don't know if I told you, but I, I, I like hot sauce. <laughs> That'll do for now. I'm gonna take it off the heat to one side, and we'll see you in a minute, all right, mate? Right, let's batter up. Yes, because it's waffle time. We're using a waffle maker. This waffle maker has been through some things. I actually did a video with Stuart Ashton. We did the Willet Churro video recently. Years ago, we did a Willet waffle, and that thing had a very interesting day indeed. Uh. So yes, this batter is a little bit of work involved, but of course you can get pre-made ones in the shops, or sometimes you just have like a little bit of milk to it. It's gonna be a bit more effort, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be worth it. I mean, I, can you tell how excited I am? No, Barry, I can't. Can you, and also, do you like hot sauce? Two yolks that we'll need in just a minute, uh, egg whites that need to be whipped, and of course, uh, another appliance, head whisk. Dun, 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 dun. So, every time, hang on. Actually, Americans don't have this problem. Actually, some Americans might not know what I mean, like genuinely. We plug it in here, and unless it's pushed down like that, it ain't gonna work. Whereas you crazy Americans, and other countries as well, I know. Just like a shaver socket, right? Straight in, and you're ready to go. Which I think for me would be very helpful. <laughs> yep, so you know it's done when you lift it, and you get some wild Tim Peaks appearing. Nice. Egg whites to one side, here is some more buttermilk. Vanilla extract, and no, I'm not gonna drink it. Slide in those egg yolks, bomb bomb, and some oil. This is baking powder, cinnamon, sugar. Hello folks, um, I'm on the phone, my mate Gary's just rung me. Uh, remember Gary from the uh, egg poaching video? Say hi Gary. Hello everyone, how are you? <laughs> uh, they say they're well. Um, do you want to pop in and try some uh, fried chicken and waffles mate? Ba chicken? Good. Waffles, good. Yeah? Yes, please. Just whisking the flour in so it should start to batter up a little bit. Maybe thicken a bit too much, but I'm going to want a spatula for the last step, which is incorporating and folding those egg whites in so we can scrape the bowl at the same time. Just to really work it all together. I have never done a waffle mix like this before. This is awesome. Oh, loving it. This is so good. That is our waffle batter. But before we get the waffle ready, We'll warm the oil up to get the chicken cooking. I want to try and get this as warm as I can, as I say. Especially now I've got company. <laughs> Folks, this is actually genuine. Um, someone from the marketing department of Audi messaged me and said thank you for sending so many people to their website because people were messaging going, these are fryers are out of stock, but I saw them on a Barry Lewis video. So, so this is some vegetable oil. So let's get our fryer up to 190C. It actually needs to cook at around about 180. But as we'll find with the basket, once we shove the chicken in, it'll probably lower the temperature of the oil and I'll probably will then just take it down to 170 slightly. And I know I'm gonna get asked this question. Remember we have done a video, air fryer KFC. Like you definitely, definitely could do that. I just, I wanted to try and stay as authentic as I can. It's when after finishing this video, then I then do the research, it's like, oh, uh, chicken and waffles is always a traditionally air fried dish. Even in the 1930s in jazz clubs where air fryers were invented. Uh, uh, what? All right, in the words of a 90s boy band, baby, when the lights go out, we can put our chicken in. Here we go. Oh, yes. In you go, my friend. In you go. Let's see what it looks like after about six minutes. Hello, uh, we might have a bit of a problem. <laughs> The batter is not completely dry. I had to pull it off the wire rack, you know, fairly, I wouldn't say aggressively, but I needed a bit of movement, right? Look, my first batch of chicken is completely wedged to the bottom of this. So, from now on, I'm going to drop it into the oil to stop it bonding but I think I can salvage this. Oh no, 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 no. It smells amazing. Oh, there we go. Oh no, 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 no. I do not want to be sticking that on my waffles, do I? Damn it. I might not stick it in at all. I might just shove it straight in and let it float and bob it out with my tongs. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's let it roam free. There you go. Ah, oh, that's better. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I'm loving that. I love the little bumples on it. 
That's an official word, all right? Bumples. For reference, I cook mine for about seven to eight minutes. Um, if you're not sure, I want to absolutely make sure it's cooked through and not like poison anyone. Uh, you can actually get a thermometer probe thing and push it into the chicken. And I think it's 160 or 165, we'll say 165 uh, Fahrenheit for generally cooked chicken, uh, just to make sure. But um, if you cut it into smaller strips or bash a big piece of chicken thinner, or just do smaller pieces in general, it's got a lot less to penetrate through to uh, cook it through. So generally for me, seven to eight minutes is pretty good. And as I found out when I got it out the basket, it was cooked, it was just stuck to the basket. I've just warmed our hot sauce back up, which I think is optional, like I say. Just put a little bit on there, just coat it there. Oh my gosh. And I could always use it as a Dunkin' sauce, I suppose, but we have got the maple syrup as well. Oh wow. Yeah, this is great. Feels like we made the waffle mix like ages ago. I'm gonna try and do two at a time. Oh, Bobbit's here already. Nice. All right, mate. All right, buddy. I'm running a bit behind, sorry. I'm actually concerned that it's gonna be fake chicken. <laughs> or you're gonna stitch no, me. Honestly, there. it is chicken thighs. Okay. Yeah. Let's try and get some waffles on the go. I put it into a jug to try and help it. Ugh. Come on now. Talk to me, Goose. Get that lid down. <sighs> We're waffling. So, let's serve this up with a potential optional extra, which I'll come to at the end. Waffles are down. So let's just stick some chicken on there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope you're hungry, Gary. I'm hungry, baby. Maybe like this? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. I want to jump in it. I don't even want to eat it. I want to just jump in it. And maple is going to finish it off. By the power of Grayskull, look at that. Oh my gosh. Possibly a little bit too much maple syrup, but I'll take it. So folks, that is looking amazing. Now there is one other thing that is optional that I haven't seen that often on top of it which was pickles. Um, so I think I'll just put a little bit of that to one side as an option. It's quirky. The vinegary tang might help cut through the sweetness and the savory. I don't know. As we know, we have a guest over. Let's see not only what one British guy thinks, but two, aren't you lucky? So we've got the waffles, bit of cinnamon hint in there. There is the chicken that's fried with a hot sauce on it, okay? Okay. You smell nice. Thanks, mate. Yeah. It's a knockoff off shave from Fair Save. Is it? Yeah, 9.99. <laughs> smells good. Yeah, it's good, mate. Um, we've got the maple syrup on it, and then optional pickles if you want, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna go pickle, waffle, and chicken all at once. Going for the pickle I'm as well? I'm going straight in. Yeah. Okay. Just because it sounds really unusual. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That was amazing. I didn't think that was gonna work. With the pickle? Mm, lovely. Really, really nice. The chicken is like, Really confusing to me. You hit that waffle and you get that sweetness. Then the maple, of course, is running through it. Yeah. Then you've got that crunchy chickeny edge. I've got to try a pickle now. Do it, mate. Go straight in. It's seriously good. I could eat that. Oh, yeah. All day, every day. That That's pickle? Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. That adds another layer to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah, mate, this is mm. nice. This right, is really, really This is like, this is a proper tradition. I think more in the Southern America. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's really good, isn't it? Mm. Well, if you ever wanted to see two very happy British dads eating food on camera. Thumbs up, mate. Yeah, you've just achieved mm. achievement unlocked. So there we go. Uh, don't forget to check out the biscuits and gravy video if you wish. Thank you to the people on the screen right now for supporting the channel on Patreon and our exclusive Patreon only Discord. Any video ideas do let me know down below and consider subscribing for regular videos and food fun. Cheers for coming over, guys. No worries. See you later, guys. Cheers. Give it a go. It's seriously delicious. Oh, wow. I can't have this in my whole life.